Mabughat ka na. So I come out with you further, mate. Bugat kayo. Yeah, roll it. That's easy. Iparol na lang. Ayo asaki. Bugat. It's easy doing well with that one. Bugat kay na. Probably the other side of those if you can. They are now clearing this area to build the shed. Yes. It's our little helper, chopper. Ma put in Well, we've really done a job on the site down here for the shed. So we've dropped most of the big trees. Um, we all, we dropped the electric line to the neighbour's place yesterday. Uh, made a bit of a miscalculation. Luckily, I'm here to tell the tale with that one. This, um, this tree here, it, um, I had it tied up over there. Now, in hindsight, I should have had it tied also to that tree over there. And that would have stabilised it and kept it going that way. But it was too much weight coming this way. So anyway, I've learned a lot of, lot of lessons from it. Worked out okay. Um, I started cutting through the back. There was a mess in the back. It was like I made a mess of it. And then I realised it was starting to get dark. I didn't have a lot of choice. I didn't want to leave it up overnight with people going... Uh, you know, past the, uh, down the track here, if it had a fallen, and of course with the electric cable, which turned out to have plenty of give in it, I think it just knocked down that post further down. I had to, I, I was really nervous about uh, cutting the bit when I realised sort of where we'd got to and we'd, we'd chopped off a few of the branches up in the top. I could see we just weren't going to get there, so I thought, oh bugger, I'm just going to have to go through this and get out of the way as quick as I can so went through the back of it unfortunately it came this way of course because the rope was on it um, but again I didn't want to go straight that way because that might have really wrecked the power anyway it's down now and now we've got still a bit of we cleaned up most of it we've got all of this one that was here across the track we got rid of that yesterday Harvey. a big big day Got rid of all that down to here. We've got to process that through the machine there at some point. This is good timber. So gemelina, gem, gemelina. I've been reading up a bit about it's a white teak, and uh, apparently it does it's quite good for furniture. You can do some quite nice furniture with it. So I might even see about getting the chainsaw guy here and getting it cut um, into boards. That might be the way to deal with it, and uh, that way we can. It'll be easier to store and handle. But we've got lots more of this stuff we've got to take down. There's a whole heap here. There's 13 of these gemolina trees just in this little top area here. And then down this slope, all you can see is basically the tops of the gemolina trees because they're very fast growing. And they overtake the mangoes. That's the worst thing. They overtake the mangoes and shade the mangoes and the mangoes don't go very well then. So, in fact... Standing here, I can see one there, uh, one over there behind it, and this one, this raggedy little one, that'll grow bigger. One down there, in fact, all I can see down this slope are the gemolina trees. And once we chop them, of course, now we'll end up with a nice view from where we want to build our house up here. We need to keep going with it and use the timber as much as we can for what we can. Yeah, be good. Thank you.